Have you ever wanted to see how that beautiful pearl necklace that you love and adore got made? Well, now here's your chance. All pearl necklaces begin first as loose strands. Our jeweler here is making a five-strand pearl necklace from some AA grade button pearls. The first step is to get them off of their loose string and onto the necklace thread. That's not all, though. Due to the unorthodox design of this necklace, we'll need some special knotting to make it work. After we strung our pearls in a line, we'll need to run the thread back through them again to knot them together as a group of four. Then we just need to tighten the thread, and we have our first piece of the necklace ready. From there, you just repeat a similar process with groups of three pearls at a time, and keep going until you've completed the first half of the necklace. No necklace is complete without the clasp. The clasp on this sort of necklace is attached roughly halfway through the stringing process. We're going to need to thoroughly tie it on so it won't just fall or break off when put under stress. Once we have our clasp on, we can begin the next phase of stringing the necklace. The first part was just piecing together the main body of the necklace. Now we're going to need to add the remaining two strands of pearls and also reinforce the threading. Securing the pearls snugly and safely on the necklace is accomplished not just by one, but by many different knots that are made by carefully weaving the thread back through the existing pearls on the strand to knot them tightly to their neighbors. During this part of the necklace making, our jeweler will be spending a good deal of her time running her needle back and forth through the strands of pearls at different angles to be sure that each pearl is knotted to each and every neighbor it has on the necklace. Once our first few extra pearls are knotted on, we need to close this knot and start a new one, which means cutting the thread off after the knot we've made. What's that lighter for? Well, if we were to just leave it like that, then our string will fray over time, even if there's only a small piece of it left over. By melting the edge slightly with a lighter, we prevent this from happening. While finishing the necklace, our jeweler will be using many knots made by many small sections of thread that get tied into the existing knots on the necklace. This is done so that in the event of a minor mistake, it's relatively easy to take one or two small sections off to redo them, since otherwise our jeweler might have to take apart the entire necklace depending on where the problem was at just to fix one tiny issue. That doesn't mean you can take the knotting lightly, though. Very close attention is paid to the thread to ensure that there are no mistakes on the knotting. Even if the entire necklace may not have to be taken apart to fix one mistake, it could still cost a lot of time to fix if one's made and not caught right away.
once the two remaining strands are attached to the necklace, more time must be spent to secure them tightly to the existing three strands of pearls. It takes a lot of time to do right, but before you know it, we have a beautiful Baroque pearl necklace ready to be worn.